I have an update on my car that was having a lot of the idle issues with the surging idle. And basically what I did, it was kind of a big job. I took a fuel return line and pressure regulator from an 06 Outback in LL Bean edition and retrofitted it into my car. So you see here is I removed all three of the fuel lines because I just want to make sure I have everything I need. And I only needed the one, the return line, that was absent from my car. Really big job because as you can see here, there are no joints, no flexible pieces in the entire car. So where that grommet is, that's where it comes out under the hood. And the grommet on the other side is where it goes under the seat outside of the car again. So there are no joints or anything inside of the car. I think that's for safety reasons. So nothing, so we don't get any fuel leaks inside of our cars, but it did make the job a lot harder. I had to remove everything from the dash and there's a lot of wires that were in the way that had to be moved, but eventually I prevailed and there it is. I took it for its first drive yesterday and it drove much better and I got a new tune for it and now the supercharger is hooked back up again. So I think this fixes my problem and I'm looking forward to actually getting some miles on it now. So my diagnosis, uh, it seemed fuel related so the fuel injectors were basically the, the first thought. So this is what came with the kit, some Bosch fuel injectors that were modified for the Subaru. Uh, I don't think they're Subaru fuel injectors. They didn't seat very well. They're supposed to be 550 cc. And since I didn't like how they fit, I could smell some fuel vapor escaping. I ended up going with some Denso style, very OEM style. Um, Super injectors from STI. These are 565 cc, and these are the OEM six cylinder. I think they're 200 something cc, but they are basically identical in size and shape, just a different color. And I didn't. It did not fix my problem, obviously. Um, so what I ended up doing is going with uh, Injector Dynamics 1050. X injectors and my tuner knows a lot about them, has a lot of experience with them and Injector Dynamics shares their data with uh, its open source so tuners can tune for them easier and that did not fix my problem. And then after going back to the stock injectors, the idle issue went away so I'm just finding that the returnless fuel system that came with the 2008 Outback 3.0 is just not compatible with larger injectors or, or it's very difficult to tune for. I don't know if anybody's done it successfully, but adding the fuel return line seems to have fixed my issues.